Hey guys and welcome to Murdered Soul Suspect unboxing or unpackaging or whatever you want to call it. Um, now I might just put it on its side like that because it's easy to video. I just received this game today in the post. Um, I purchased it off eBay from Zoo House. These guys, I've bought a few things from these guys. You, know, you always get it um, on time, like as they say, it's never late. Stuff like that. Um, they, if you're an Australian watching this video, they did a nice thing and posted an express post. I've just torn the sticker off there. Um, nicely packaged up. The game is. Um, I'll just pull it out. And wrapped in bubble wrap, as you can probably see. Get rid of that one. Put that there. Now, I purchased this game because it was a, um, Game that I've been looking at for a while, like, I've been waiting for it to come out for a while. So I thought to myself, what the heck, may as well. Um, this game, this one here isn't an actual Australian game. It was made, obviously, in China or something, but it is in English. Um, you can tell by just the Peggy 18 rating there. Australian games have the M-A-R-18-M, ones like that. Um... Now, this game here is just a standard game that you can purchase in any shop sort of thing. I just got it off eBay. Um, standard blue cover for the PS4. Uh, nothing special about it. Um, it's got online capabilities, this game, as most games have. Um, the box is... I love the PS4 boxes because they're blue. One thing that I didn't like about Pair 3 games was they were just clear. Um, now, down the bottom, we have, like, DualShock 4, one player stuff like that. All the information that you'll need. Half of it's in Chinese, which is a bit annoying. And up further, you've got the normal, like, story, what it's about, sort of thing like that. Um, now, inside the box is nowadays when you buy a game these no such things an instruction manual unfortunately um you have the digital strategy map that's it just there with the code and the game which is just a blu-ray disc as all ps4 games are nowadays um now this game is about a detective in the salem police force who's actually been killed and he his role now once he's been killed is he's come back in spirit form to solve his own murder so he's got to work out who killed him why they wanted to kill him stuff like that so in this game there's no such thing as daylight which is one thing that i don't really like daylight as in sun stuff like that it's played in dusk uh which is the it's sort of like night time but because you're a spirit, it's always dark and stuff like that. So you're this guy here who's come back to solve your murder and you're being hunted by demons because you're a spirit because they want to eat your spirit. And you can interact with fellow spirits and a few char uh, normal characters like cops and stuff like that. You can also possess stuff, which is a really cool trick, I reckon. Like, you can possess cats, you can possess fellow people, and think, um, listen to their inner, deepest, most thoughts, which sounds like an interesting idea. Um, I don't really like the cover of this game, because it doesn't really look too inviting. It's just, that I go with a few bullet holes in the back, that's about it. Um... But yeah, we'll see how it plays. I haven't actually played it yet because I haven't played on PS4 for absolutely ages. But this will be a good one to test it out on again. Um, I'll be doing another video about what I think of the game and um, who I might even try and do some gameplay footage. I don't have a capture card, so it'll just be off my phone. But it should be okay. Um, and yeah... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time. See ya.